Hey, everybody. The Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Star Trek, Narnia, Avatar, The Avengers, The X-Men, The Matrix, and more all fall under the movie category called fantasy. After all, everybody loves a good action fantasy, right? They're extremely popular in our culture. Now, many people read the book of Revelation, and it reads like a fantasy movie. It contains fantastical imagery, characters, and symbols within its pages. Revelation is actually a type of biblical literature referred to as apocalyptic literature. Apocalyptic literature lifts the veil between heaven and earth and reveals God's plan for victory. This kind of literature uses symbolism, vision, supernatural beings, and hyperbolic language to demonstrate one thing, that in the end, God and his people win the battle against evil. You'll remember from English class in school that a hyperbole is when you exaggerate something to prove a point. For example, in sports, we often see our team is going to annihilate. They're going to murder the other team. Now, do we seriously mean that our team is going to kill people? Of course not. It's hyperbole. What we want to convey to people is that our team is going to win convincingly. Much of Revelation is a hyperbole, which is meant to convey to the reader that God and believers are going to win convincingly in the end. But Revelation contains a real message to real people that the Spirit of God wanted to communicate with through a man named John. Namely, that we win in the end. Revelation contains a practical message that is relevant and applicable for believers today, not in some future time. It was a message designed to offer hope and direction to an early church that was under attack by the Roman Empire. And it provides that same hope and direction to us today as we battle against an increasingly wicked and hostile culture. The purpose of the book of Revelation is more prescriptive than predictive. It was not designed to predict the future. Did you know that only 5% of Revelation is predictive? 95% is prescriptive. The word prescriptive means to tell you how to do something. The true purpose of Revelation is to tell believers how to live and how to be victorious amidst a world that has turned away from God and embraced darkness. Now, most people, when they read Revelation, get so caught up trying to interpret and figure out the symbols and the images and the exaggerated language and what it predicts about the future that they fail to understand that its main objective is to show us how to live as effective witnesses in a godless culture. While it's easy to get caught up in the fantastical aspects of the book of Revelation because of the type of Hebrew literature it is, apocalyptic, remember, this book was designed to offer practical everyday advice for how to live and defeat the empire right now. When you begin to read Revelation from that viewpoint, a whole new meaning to the book opens up to you. If you weren't with us on Sunday for the opening message, I want to encourage you to go back and watch that opening message from last week on this YouTube channel where I unpack the message of Revelation to the seven churches and to us as believers. God bless you and have a great day.